The Ad Show. Hi guys, so today we are in the photography room or processing room and we are going to be listing our first items on eBay. Yeah, we are going to do the photography first, just on a few items and then we are going to get on and actually list those items on the new store. Here we are over at the photography area. You can see I have compiled four items here. Just some very easy new and sealed items to get the store started. So first off, we have this Doc 2 Dalek Sec hybrid figure, brand new and sealed. If you don't know, I'm a huge Doc 2 fan. So that is why I'm going to be listing that one there. And that one will probably be the first listing as well. Uh, we've got a little Star Wars Django Fett figure. Again, brand new and sealed. Slight bit of shelf wear to that corner there, but other than that, pretty much decent. Um, next, we've got this Lego Brickheads, Mr. and Mrs. Claus set here as well. Again, a little bit of shelf wear to various little different parts of it, but not too bad. So yeah, nice little easy one there. And then this Mar Marvel's Hercules figure here as well, brand new and sealed. So yeah, just, I just thought I'd choose some really nice, easy items to list first off. Uh, and as I say, pretty much all of these will be going on auction. Certainly, sort of, three of them. Not sure about the Doctor Who figure, I might put on buy it now. But we'll see anyway, so I'm going to get on and do this photography. Oh, also as well, for those of you who may be new to the channel, I do all my photography on this sort of white-covered melamine, sort of uh, chalkboard. And it's really, really good. I've had it for quite a few years now, actually. And it serves, it per serves its purpose really, really well. There's now getting a few sort of... Don't know whether you can see that, some light scratches and stuff on it. But when you actually come to do the photography, it actually looks really good still. And also, I do uh, my photography with these softbox lights as well. But you can get off eBay pretty cheap, I think, for two of them. Uh, it's about £30, so yeah, you can't really argue with that. And they have served me well as well, which is cool. And also, there'll probably be a link down below in the description to those. I'm not sure, but you may as well check it out, see if there is one. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So I'm going to get on and do the top the photography now and uh, and then we'll get listing we are now in the ebay seller hub so as you can see all the totals are on zero uh, no unread messages no awaiting dispatch no sales predicted seller level is unavailable today's feedback zero growth recommendation zero no orders no listings no nothing no feedback for the last 31 days no tasks tasks pending everything zero zilch nothing so it's a brand new fresh store really really cool so what we're going to be doing today as i mentioned is we are going to be listing our first item on the store which is going to be really really cool so what i'm going to do is just navigate up here to this cell in the top left hand corner and as you can see it brings us to this manage manage active listings page which you can see again is just at zero and now we're going to navigate up here to this blue button create a listing and then just to single listing you can see here dalek zek hybrid uh, Doc 2 character options is the brand series 3 up here obviously what I'm doing is this is what I generally do I have a look on the item and if it's an action figure or anything with a box I make sure that I take in as much information as I can from the item and then I can formulate a title obviously a lot of you watching will be very well aware on how to create a listing but there might be a few of you watching who are new to reselling and it might be of some value to you so I'm just going to put in here BBC Doctor Who um, character options, Dalek, Dalek, Zek, hybrid, D Dalek, Sek, not Zek as well. I don't know why I keep saying Zek. Dalek, Sek, hybrid. What could I put in here as well? Um, alien action figure. I suppose that works, doesn't it? Um, and then sealed on the end because if I put, let me put new and sealed. Now I think that's going to be too many characters. So I'm just going to hit enter in here, put new and sealed. It's just too many characters. So let me just put sealed in there. It's come up with the automatically updated item specifics character, character alien. I'm going to remove that actually. Um, brand character type action figure theme dot two character family Daleks. Yeah, that's all cool. Not going to do a su subtitle. Not going to do a custom label. Category toys and games, action figures, TV, movie, and games. Yeah, that'll do. Collectibles, science fiction collectibles. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that one actually. Uh, I'm not going to put in an EAN. I always put does not apply. I know I'm a bit of a rebel, 
um, yeah, terrible, but does not apply. Um, and then I'm going to put new condition for this one because it is new in its box. Box, we're now going to add the photos. So the photos have uploaded now. You sometimes have to wait a minute for them to upload. Obviously, it depends on the speed of the upload and stuff. Um, but yeah, Dalek Sec Hybrid, we've got the figure now. I'm just going to have to rotate them all around. It really annoys me that you have to rotate all of these around on computer that's why generally i list more on phone these days although to be honest i've gone back and forth from computer and phone and i found that sometimes it can be quicker listing on phone sometimes computer it really you know it just depends i suppose but yeah i'm just going to turn those around so we've only got three photos on here in fact the other items i'm going to be listing or a couple of them i might share with you as well i don't want to list loads because if I list loads on this video, it'll get boring and tedious and long, and I don't want that. So I might just list a couple of items with you, and then obviously list a few more on my own later on. Um, but yeah, I've just got a few here. The other items, as I say, I've got a bit more, a few more photos for. But with this one, really, there's not really any shelfware to the box or anything like that. So I don't really need any more photos than just the three, the close-up there of it, and then the back, and then the front there. It's all pretty much perfect. So yeah, we've got coming down to item specifics now. In fact, I'll have to copy copy that there what i always do is copy the title and then go down to the description and just paste that title in there as well um yeah i don't even know why i do that it's just something i do i always do it um next we've got uh item specifics as i say i'm not going to put any more in here unless i can see a year can i see a year because i know what the year is you see ah there year i know the year is 2006 so I'll just put that in there. But I, I'm not really big into the old item specifics. I mean, obviously I put the recommended in because you have to. But of other ones, you know, additional item specifics, if I know them, sometimes I will put them in. I know it's meant to help search like massively, but I don't put loads in. Like, for example, I would never really go down an entire list and put you know, 20 item specifics in or 12 item specifics in or something. The only situation I'd do anywhere close to that is on maybe a really high value item that I feel, you know, needs a lot of item specifics in there so that then people can understand what certain things are attached to it. But a little small action figure like this, I'm just going to put the required in and a few extra in, obviously, that you can see here, like character family and the year and stuff I put in and the character. But that'll do me for that. So, yeah, going down to the description now, um, I'm just literally going to put uh, Doc 2 figure because I've already kind of put that in the title and then what I'm going to just do in the kind of vein of under promising over delivering is I'm just going to put my I'm going to actually put very because there isn't really hardly any on the box very minor uh, shelfware and that's all I'm going to do and even if there isn't any to the box, which I don't think there is or hardly any, but it just means that obviously people expect that in their mind and then when they get it, they might be really, really pleased about it because obviously I've kind of said to them, well, there might be this with it, but actually there isn't. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. So I always do that or some, well, sometimes I do that. So now we want to obviously put in a uh, sort of auction price here. Now I am going to be selling this on auction. I'm going to whack this on at 4 99 Now I've just done a bit of research here. This is the only one I can actually find dot two dalek sec hybrid 5.5 inch figure series three carded four pound um on bids there the rest of them are kind of either bundles or they're different dalek secs now all i've put in is dalek sec hybrid figure new um but yeah i'm just gonna whack that on at 4.99 and now we need to add the postage obviously so you can see now i've just put in the postage royal mail second class just obviously selected it on the list there and the cost will be three pound 49 there um obviously my dispatch time i've put as two working days and that will about do it for the listing so i'm just going to go up the listing very quickly and check that i've covered everything and then we'll be getting ready to list this item so yeah i'm going to list this item now i'm just going to come down here to the list we've displayed fees now you can see actually the fees are going to be 36 pence because i haven't actually got a basic shop or an official shop obviously you need well you don't need but it's financially viable when it gets to about 65 listings 70 listings in fact it might be a bit more than that now because i know the shop prices have gone up um so if ever this this actually get this account gets up to 65 70 listings i'll get a basic shop but for now it's not really viable but you can see there 36 pence fees on a 4.99 um 
59 item, that's going to put hit pretty hard. So I do want to list a few more, you know, sort of £10, £15, £20 items on this account if I can. Then it makes it worth a little bit more, more my while. Obviously, I still have the 10% fee anyway, final value fee. Um, but yeah, 36 pence fees on there. Just wanted to make you aware of that one. And we're just going to click uh, list with displayed fees. And this is submitting the listing now. And you can see here, success, you listed your item, the first item on this account, BBC.2, character options, Dalek stack, uh, hybrid, alien action figure, sealed. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and list another item. So as you can see here, we've got this Marvel, Marvel's Hercules, um, Hasbro, a little action figure here. I guess it's a comic book figure, I don't really know, I'm not really into the whole Marvel's universe or comic book stuff or... I've watched a few of the movies, but I've not watched loads of them or anything, so I guess it's a comic book figure anyway, because it says this collectible comic shop, shop there. Um, but yeah, so a little Marvel figure here, again, brand new in the box, Series 4, 0, 17. So again, I'm just kind of picking out a little bit of information that I want to obviously put in the title. So what we're going to do is going to put in here Marvel Universe, because uh, I saw Universe on the back, Hercules, I don't know, action figure... Is there a year on it or anything? And then I can put new and sealed at the end as well. 2011. And then, and then just put new sealed. That'll do it. In fact, I don't think I've put that as a capital. And then just click enter. And then here we are on the page, the listing page, as with before with the other item. Automatically updated item specifics. Hasbro, character, Hercules, uh, type, action figure, year 2011. Yeah, they're fine. Subtitle, no. Custom label, no. Category, toys and games, action figure, comic book, heroes. Toys and games, action figures, TV, movies and hit video games. I think I'm going to go with that top one. I'm going to say that. Uh, EAN does not apply again um, and then condition new I'm going to just up upload the photos quickly so all the photos are uploaded now I've got to go ahead and swizzle them around again so I've got one front, front picture there one back picture um, and then also on this one, I've actually done a few of the kind of the, the sides or on the side there because obviously it's got a little bit of slanting to the box on one side. So I wanted to make sure I had photoed that. Uh, and you can see there's a little bit of shelf wear down there on that bottom left hand corner. Um, and then obviously I've done a little bit of a close up of the figure like I did with the other one. Um, so yeah, nice little close up of the figure there so we can see it in a little bit more of its glory. Um, so yeah, five photos on that one there. I've also just gone down and obviously done the description there. Marvel Universe Hercules Hasbro figure, I've just put the title in. Has some slanting to the card slash minor uh, shelf where please see photos. Now I also wanted to mention, because I didn't mention in that last, uh, in that last listing, that although you do put this in the description, not all people do actually read the description anymore, so sometimes you just put it in there and you might end up getting a buyer that um, obviously hasn't read the description or anything and then comes back at you with something, some sort of problem or, or, or something they've not seen on the photo. Um, but it's, I still do take out the time and put a little bit in that description, just highlighting the, the kind of the little things um, to know on the actual item. Um, but I don't know whether I said in the other listing as well, I don't really generally do a lot on the description. I just do a little bits and bobs, unless it's a very expensive. If it's an expensive item, I'll do a couple of paragraphs on that description if it's something like a little figure an action figure that's brand new and sealed or, or anything that's brand new and sealed really i don't do much in the description i'll only simply highlight the the little bit of shelf where it may have or you know some sort of whip in the seal if it has something like that because you really don't need to do much especially with certain bits of information let's say being on the back of a card as well uh, that they can see in the photo uh, and also they can see what they're getting quite clearly from the picture there with it being brand new and sealed um so yeah, and with it being just simply an action figure. So uh, I've obviously, I've not really done much with the item specifics. Obviously the year is in there, the action type is action figure. Character is Hercules, the ones that they obviously just automatically applied for me. Brand Hasbro, um, but yeah, that's all I've put in there. So now what we're going to do is go down and select the price. So we are down here at the price here, and I'm going to actually put in here... $7.99 starting price on 7 day auction again. Now I've seen here Marvel Universe Hercules figure series 4 and opened on card. £13 best offer accepted. Uh, obviously that was buy it now. Uh, new Marvel Universe figures Hercules £7.40 plus uh, obviously postage there. 
uh, and then another one for £7.40 plus postage on auction. Obviously, these other ones, some of these other ones are either used or, or obviously not the right ones. Um, and then I think I saw another one down here near the bottom. Ah, there we go, yeah. Mo this was quite a while ago, though. This was October, we're now January, obviously, so prices may have changed since then. But this one, this person actually got 17 quid on uh, Buy It Now, plus two night postage. Marvel Universe Hercules, uh, 3.75 uh, inch action figure, Legends Infinite. So yeah, I'm just going to put 7.99 in there. So you can see here as well, I've just put Royal Mail, second class, very ob obvious there, um, and £3.49 again for the postage so hopefully i should get a bid on that especially with you know nice few keywords in there and stuff uh, that should go i would imagine if it doesn't go i might bring it down to 4.99 something like that but i just want rid of this item it doesn't actually cost me anything as well so it really doesn't matter what it goes for so yeah uh, 3.49 postage on that one and what i'm going to do is just go up the listing again just check that everything's in order and then we will hit that magic button so yeah everything looks in order and you can see down there at the bottom we've got that 36 pence fee again list with displayed fees so i'm just going to click that button and we are going to list this bad boy so you can see there success you've listed your item for sale so that is the second item on the new store which is awesome marvel universe hasbro action figure series 17 so, oh no wait no 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 actually you know what i need to change that don't i I've missed that i missed series 4 one second you see, it always pays just to read back the title at the end there because I actually missed putting in the Series 4 and then also I could actually put number 17 in there rather than, yeah, so I missed out the 4, I missed out the 4. So I'm going to re-submit uh, that there and revise it. Marvel Universe Hercules Hasbro uh, Action Figure Series 4, number 17, uh, 2011 new and sealed. So uh, I will just wrap up this video at the old active listings page. So as you can see, we've got these two items uh, listed now on the store. I'm actually going to go ahead myself independently after this video and list another couple of items on the store. But yeah, you can see this is the first two items items on this store pretty cool all active to uh, fixed price zero zero and then auctions that will sell zero again there now if you would like to follow the store as i mentioned last time in last the last video the link will be down below to the eclectic attic the store well i say it's a store actually it's not a store specifically it's a it's an ebay selling account because i've not got a basic store but can you imagine me putting that in the title i started a new ebay selling account or i i am listing something on my ebay selling account or my new oh god that'd be tedious so i'm just going to put store in the title because it's just tedious anyway so uh yeah but if you want to go across and actually look at the account i'll start saying the account in future though if you want to go and across and look, look at the account then please go ahead and do so feel free and uh yeah if you want to follow it or anything like that then yeah be my guest and uh, i suppose i'll see you in the next one so if you haven't already then please do feel free and subscribe um if obviously you like the video then please let me know down below with a like or even a comment i'd really appreciate it i do try and get back to as many comments as i can and for the most part i achieve it but there's always some that obviously i just don't reply to for whatever reason it may be that they're a horrible comment and I just won't reply to it, or it may be that it's a really nice comment, but I just do not have the time to be able to get through everyone's at that certain time point. But with that being said, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Watch it, I'll slow down.